William Henry Harrison was the ninth president of the United States, serving for a very short time in 1841. He was born on February 9, 1773, on the Berkeley Plantation in Charles City County, Virginia, into a prominent political family. His father, Benjamin Harrison V, was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Harrison studied classics and history at the Hampton Sydney College in Virginia before joining the U.S. Army in 1791. He quickly rose through the ranks and gained fame for his role in the Northwest Indian War and the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. This battle earned him the nickname Old Tippecanoe, which later became a slogan during his presidential campaign. During the War of 1812, Harrison achieved more success, most notably in the Battle of the Thames in 1813, where he defeated the British and their Native American allies. His military successes contributed to his political career, and he was appointed as the territorial governor of the Indiana Territory. Harrison's political career continued to flourish, and he served as a delegate to the U.S. Congress and as a U.S. Senator from Ohio. In 1836, he ran for the presidency as the Whig Party candidate, but was defeated by Martin Van Buren. Four years later, in the 1840 presidential election, the Whigs nominated Harrison again. His campaign emphasized his military successes, portraying him as a common man living in a log cabin. Although he came from a wealthy background, this imagery helped him connect with voters. The campaign slogan was Tippecanoe and Tyler too, referring to Harrison and his running mate, John Tyler. William Henry Harrison won the election in 1840, becoming the oldest person elected to the presidency at that time and the last U.S. president who was born prior to the United States founding. As we said, his presidency was short-lived. The long-standing official account is that Harrison caught a cold during his inauguration because he took off his jacket and spoke for two hours in the freezing cold. That developed into pneumonia, leading to his death on April 4, 1841, just 32 days into his term. However, researchers have recently refuted the official cause and believe that contaminated drinking water was the true cause of Harrison's demise. See, before 1850, the sewage of Washington, D.C., was dumped into a fetid marsh just seven blocks upstream from the White House's water supply, and the researchers surmised that bacteria seeped into the drinking water and caused the president's severe gastroenteritis and eventual death. No matter the cause of death, Harrison's presidency is the shortest in American history, and his death raised issues about presidential succession that would be addressed later with the 25th Amendment to the Constitution. Despite his brief time in office, Harrison played a significant role in American military and political history. His legacy is often overshadowed by the brevity of his presidency, but his contributions to the military and his impact on early American expansion are noteworthy. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Since you've made it this far, why not check out one of our other videos? Pro tip, if you subscribe and turn on notifications, you'll know when we publish new ones too.